the power of the mind. This is exercise number three. Some housekeeping tips. First and foremost, make sure you have a notebook and something to write with or just paper and pen, paper and pencil, so that way you can write down the questions that will go with this exercise. If this is your first time watching a Power of the Mind video, I recommend you stop and go back to the beginning and do the exercises. Don't just listen to them, get involved. Be a part of it. Write down your answers for video one and video two because with this exercise number three, everything will come together and we'll be able to find out exactly what my husband's plan was this entire time. <laughs> and we'll learn a whole lot more about ourselves because I still don't know. But it's not I'm my just plan. having fun. This is, I'm just following guidance. Keep that in mind. Then we're going it's to not... find out what the guidance is and the plan that's been there that my husband has been conveying to us. But it's fantastic. Again, though, to benefit from it, it's important that you participate. Yes. Now, you keep saying to write things down. So individuals keep emailing us their responses, which doesn't do us any well, good. Well, write down the questions or listen to the questions and then record them on a video. It helps if you record a video like what we do and then you just post it so we can just listen to it as well. And other people can listen to it too. And if you don't want to be seen, just record your voice. Right. We've had individuals who record a blanket or a scenery and then send the messages through the Facebook group. But that helps because I know I've spoken to individuals and they've said things like, how comes nobody's involved? Why, why aren't they getting involved with the exercise? And I, I let them know, no, they are getting involved. They send us, some people text us on the phone. And then some, imagine Someone replied through message. Instagram, which is oh, a long response. That. But it's best if you could just make a short video, post it right here in the Facebook group. And again, if you don't want your face to be seen, just record it, just your voice, just the audio. You don't even have to say who you are. You could just say your first name. That's it. Don't make up a name, please. You know, just, just say your first name and then give the responses. Next thing is, you don't have to write the questions down. Just replay the video. Right? Yes, you said you to write that. the questions down. Well, like for me, it's easier if I write the questions down instead of play the video, stop, then answer, and then go back, because and then answer again. Because we are recording it, huh? but they're not recording. They're watching the recording. <laughs> so they could just play it back a little bit. Well, you guys figure it out. I'm <laughs> definitely not technically savvy here, so... You're a tech person. What are you I am totally not a tech person. That is my husband. He's the tech guy. <laughs> anyway. But anyway, just so you folks know, this is fantastic. When you learn a lot. It's designed for you to learn a lot about yourself. If there are things that you really don't understand about yourself or you want to learn more about, these exercises are geared for that. So I already know what they're for, but I simply follow guidance with this series to get you to the point where you get to understand who you really are. But if you're just watching the video, it doesn't help you because you have to have your responses. That's where the difference comes in. So as my wife said, if you haven't done any of them, either of them, one or two, get those done. Record them and send them in, please, so we can post them for people, so they know that other people are involved, not just my mm -hmm. wife. You know, it's good that you send us email, but then we're not going to post the email, so we hold on to these things or the Instagram stuff or the text message. That's even harder. All right. So anyway, so here we go. Okay. Exercise three. Ready? I'm ready. So again, you take your, you take three deep breaths, and it's just to calm you down, right? Okay. Last breath. Last breath, you don't want to die or something? Well, you said take three, so I was counting down. Three, two, one, and I'm keeping my eyes closed. Yeah, but power of words. Power of words. What do you associate indeed. last breath with? <laughs> All right, I was caught here on camera. The All third right. breath, there we go, done. There we go, third <laughs> breath. <laughs> Open your eyes, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, the power of words. We're going to leave it on there. We're not going to record this. I know. We record so folks can see that even ourselves sometimes slip up. We're right? still learning. Exactly. We're still going right? through So, the that's process. why you don't go beating up on yourself when, when things happen. You just say, okay, I'll make sure I don't do that next time. Correct it. That's it. You know, mm -hmm. everything can be corrected. That's the bottom line. 
uh, before we continue, just want everybody to know that just you have to just go with it, right? Don't question what's happening. Okay. Because the moment you do that, then you're going to lose the momentum that we've built. Even though you've opened your eyes, you're fine. All right, so let's okay. close your eyes. And here we go. You're walking in an isolated, isolated neighborhood. There are not too many homes in the area. Almost like a countryside. And you suddenly notice that there's a home burning. And as soon as you run towards the home, you notice that there's an adult that just came out to the porch, but they're crawling on the porch. And they wave at you, and they start shouting and saying something, and all you hear is that they can't get up and they can't walk. And the moment they said that, the roof for the porch collapsed and you don't see the individual any longer. The fire is spreading very quickly because of very strong winds. And as you're looking, you're trying to find the adult, you notice that there's a voice coming from an upper level. And you realize, oh, there's a second level to the home. You notice a window, and then you notice a child waving through the window and shouting at you. You decide you're going to go in and try to help, but there's a gate. And every time you go to try to open the gate, these dogs come rushing at you. You're looking around and you see a ladder leaning on the fence. You look at the ladder, you hear the screaming from the child, you look up again, and by this time, there's thick smoke just covering the entire house from the first floor all the way through the roof. You shout out to the child who's now barely visible because of the smoke, and you ask the child, are you okay? And the child starts coughing, and then the child says, my younger sibling is laying on the floor and not moving. And after that, the young child disappears. Somehow you manage to enter the home and proceed towards the stairs that will take you upstairs. And when you get there, the stairs are missing. The bottom stairs have been burnt. And the distance between the floor and the rest of the stairs to get up is too tall for you to reach. You start coughing. And by this time, you can hardly see anything because of the thick smoke. How does this story end? Open your eyes. Here are the questions. I have them right here. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you understand them. Yeah, go okay. ahead. The first question, describe the home. The second question, how strong is the wind? Number three, describe the child that you, see, that you saw in the window. How is the child feeling? Number four, describe the adult. Why is the adult unable to stand or walk? Five, how many dogs are there? Describe the dogs. Describe how you are feeling about the dogs. The behavior of the dogs. I'm uh, reading my husband's handwriting. <laughs> it's very beautiful. <laughs> um, number six. Describe the ladder. Describe your feeling on seeing the ladder. What did you do with the ladder? Seven. How are you feeling about the smoke? 
Eight, describe your feelings about the children. Nine, how are you feeling once you realize the stairs are destroyed? 10, did you help the adult? How? 11, did you help the children? How? 12, how is your overall feeling?